As a public service to all our QNET viewers, we are running a day of shadowing our QNET news station reporters. It's our way of being transparent with our viewing public. Join us now as we drop in and hear what's going on. Looks like a huddle is about to take place between Snapper and Barbara Soros. Hey Barb, did you see the canvas in our QNET Slack reporters channel? Canvas? We have a canvas in our QualityNet Slack reporters channel? Why, yes, Barb. Every channel on QualityNet Slack has a canvas, and you can even create it in every direct message you compose. Then you can share them in any other channel, conversation, or huddle. A canvas is like having a sticky note in your conversation, with a way to take notes, communicate announcements, post music references, or Anything you can think of. I love them. You can even use a meeting notes template in which everyone in the channel can add and edit to. Here's the canvas icon in the upper right corner of each channel. Or start a canvas from the create new button on the lower left bookmarks bar. You know, Snapper, I completely forgot about the canvas feature. Sometimes I just get so busy with my own work that I lose track of everything else. Silly me. I love the layout features in Canvas. They're so versatile. First, you can open a Canvas as a full page message, but then click on it again, and it can be open to a completely standalone window. Yes, but even better is what you can do with the way they look. Check this out. I can add a link, and it looks like a typical URL. But watch this! I can make it appear as a preview to where the link actually goes. This is all I have to do to select it. And check this! No more images or files sitting as attachments at the bottom, like in the messages. Instead, they can be placed anywhere in the canvas, just like a real poster. If I don't like where it's placed, then I simply drag and drop it to a new position. Easy! And easy on the reader's eyes! And Canvas is very good at keeping things organized. You can add dividers, columns, and even format your text in four different heading sizes. And my favorite, checklists. Such a great way to keep organized with the team. Look, Barb, I added a comment to our canvas. All I did was click the plus sign in the speech bubble at the top right of the canvas. It opened up and let me add my comment. Cool, huh? You can see how many comments were made in the number in the speech bubble next to the message. Later, you can click on the three ellipses to the right of the canvas and choose to view all the comments that have been made. Oh, Snapper, I do love that interactivity. All the team can participate. Me too, Barb. It's so empowering and such an amazing way to communicate information. Did you notice how the Help Slack, Help Atlassian, Help Lucid, Announcement CMS QNet, and other channels in Slack have ESS Tools University training listings as a Canvas posting? Makes it so convenient for people to look up and register for the trainings. It certainly does. <laughs> I love those gifts you send in the message chat, Snapper. Well, Barb, you're going to love this news even more. That Canvas in our channel is telling us we can now send gifts using a gift picker. A gift picker? Yes, all those steps we had to do to send a gift are no longer. Now, we simply click on the emoji icon right in the message composer, look. There's a tab here for other emojis or gifts. Once you click on the gift tab, search for the one you like best. It's that easy. Oh, this is so much fun. 
because I'm amazing. It's because I have you as my role model, Bob. Well, my little snapper turtle, it's a pleasure to work with you. Likewise, Barb. I'll get out there and spread the word about these great quality net slack features. You are the best snapper.